Fun fact about France. If you're hoping for a late lunch, don't. Because apparently everywhere would like to close or does close at like two. So you might be stuck in what looks like a deserted town with no food options. So we'll just see what we end up with. Please turn right and then turn left. This is our third town to look for food. Is Plum tuckered out? I have left the car and set out on foot. Rumor has it there's a restaurant somewhere around here and we're just not finding it. It's probably about 3.30 by now and we're all dwindling, needing some food. Restaurant is a stretch and it is deader than tombs in here but look look isn't that lovely got a lake it's very nice pretty soon we're gonna have to start foraging for roots and nuts right. we're on switchback roads now and if anyone's been to Summer camp with me, you know how I feel about switchbacks. Okay, so we've ditched the food plan and we're going to explore a castle while we wait for food to become available. Goy Flacos, it is cold today. You know, for my birthday, Hannah Miller brought me this lovely scarf from London. It is coming in handy hardcore. Lovely place for a dining room or a snack bar or really anything to do with food. And up some more. Okay, so we're at the top of the castle and the view is stunning. Whole way around. Really, really lovely. And um, Isaiah has found ants, which he's pretty excited about as well. Well, I would say this was, despite being very cold and very hungry, this was a pretty cool castle. Thoroughly enjoyed it. They let you go all the way up and then all the way down. Um, and they had a lot of like for real, for real stuff in there. It was, it was very cool. And the view, once again, really Southern France is beautiful. Okay. So we finally found food in the form of a very unique vending machine, which Levi will now demonstrate for us. Screen 15. Yeah. Put in the number.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> a lot healthier than the vending machines in the states so there's um there's apple juice and pear juice there's all sorts of different combinations if you want a glass bottle or a, like a disposable yeah and the pear too yes we got a pear one um and then um they have whole crates and um and then over here there were just more bags of apples more options and uh and then they also had wine as well so it's pretty um pretty impressive operation Can you imagine living in a place just so lovely? You have a little courtyard with a statue and a, I think there's water in there. And just neighbors just right here and cute little shutters. And there's that one, that one right there. That's a church, that big tall one. It's just so close and tight knit and completely different from Shaw. Really, Shaw is lovely, but it's it's just very nice to see something different. So this morning we are leaving France and headed to Andorra. But before we go, I want to show you a um, just a quick tour of the place that we've been staying. It's a bed and breakfast in a little teeny town whose name I can't remember um, in southern France. So. I'll show you um, where Levi, myself, Joel, and Schaefer stayed the past two nights. So this is the entry, and we went up all three stories. Come into a little kitchen, dining room. Back here is Levi's room, which he has his own personal little um, patio that has a fig tree and an olive, which apparently is too cold for the olive tree to do anything. He also had his own bathroom, which is lovely. Um, we go over here. Apparently this used to be the piggery to the place next door. I'm gonna start going up the stairs. And um, people that bought this totally renovated it. I guess it was an absolute disaster before they came in, and now it's quite nice. Go up the first flight of stairs and it's, a super comfortable sitting room. I don't know what it is about this room, but it was just so nice. And we all loved just sitting in here in the evenings, chatting. The walls are so unique and old. Um, and this also goes out to a little patio, which we didn't really use the patios at all because it was just raining the whole time. But, you know, what a nice thought to have them there. Then there's a bathroom and fun cloth with a tub. Lovely. Then you go up another flight of stairs. And your way up and around. And then we get to the top level. Hi. Give us a tour of your room. This is my bed. This is Joel's bed. That's the window. Let's see their nice view. View out to the courtyard. So their view and looks so out glad. on that. And just lovely. And then in the evenings when the window was open, we could hear um, the church bells. And uh, it was all lovely. And then this is my room. And mom let me have first dibs on bedrooms. I could have had any of the rooms that I wanted. And this is the one I chose. It's at the top story. It looks out on a cemetery. And then um, there are a couple of cows that hang out back there. And then these beautiful, beautiful hills. And something about being so high up. It was just lovely. And it had such a good feel to it. I'm thrilled thrilled I got two nights in here. Mom and dad and Isaiah were next door in the actual like as more of a traditional bed and breakfast but um um it was just all of it was so lovely. So we're gonna head to Andorra now and uh and see what is waiting for us there.